In this example, the relation is given in the form of 3y minus 5x equals negative 3. Describe the domain and range of the relation and determine if the relation is a function. First, when we look at this equation, 3y minus 5x equals negative 3, this is a linear equation. So we can rewrite it as the form of the line y equals mx plus b, 3y equals 5x minus 3, divide all by 3 becomes y equals 5 over 3 times x minus 1. As you recall, this is in the form of y equals mx plus b. The m is 5 over 3, the b is negative 1, when you plot the graph of this relation, let's start with the y-intercept, which is 0, negative 1, 0, negative 1. And then the slope 5 over 3, or rise over 1, go up 5 units, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and go over 3, 1, 2, 3. That's the next coordinate. And then get a couple more points. One, two, three, four, five, and go over three. And the other way, we go down five. One, two, three, four, five, and go over to the left three. One, two, three. So that should be plenty to plot the line. So we have the line that represents this relation. Identify the domain at range, the domain as a B, or the set of the first coordinates. If we write in the interval notation form, as we see, x can be any values, negative, positive, including zero. Another way we say the domain is a set of all real numbers. Similarly, the range or the set of all second coordinates going to be the set of our real numbers as well. And next, we determine whether this relation are function or not using the vertical line test. Any vertical lines that we use for this test has only one intersection point. We can say that this relation is a function. Because the graph passes the vertical lattice. 